Uh, hello again. I'm continuing with my daily set of tactics. Um, it's a way to move in all positions. There's no particular theme to the tactics. Um, uh, it's usually something pretty simple. So here it's white to move uh, Psachis against uh, Kasparov from 1981. Uh, so white can take on here or he can uh, take on h7. Uh, he should probably just win the queen by taking on h7 and then taking on d5. Let's see if that works. That's the answer. Hmm. No, he took here first. What was wrong with taking on... Oh, it's a check. Okay, I should pay more attention. So I didn't solve this one. So next one. This one is simple, I think. I can play queen takes. And if he takes, then I go... Rook here, checkmate. Let's check if that's right. Yeah, check if he goes to g8. And I give mate. So he has to take, and then rook h5 is mate. Okay, that's good. Next puzzle. Okay, so my queen is under attack. His queen is under attack. So if I take the queen, he takes my queen. That doesn't seem to give much. If I take his bishop. Well, then the queen escapes and the material is even. Uh, so it might have to do with the... Maybe I can throw in knight to d6 first, and then... Knight to d6 goes to d8, I take on g5. If he goes to c7, I have a discovered double check. But... If he goes to b8... Then uh, my queen is still hanging here. I could take the rook. He take the queen. I take here. He take there. So I win the exchange. Is that the best? Not sure. I could also play queen to d6 first and probably force him to take on d6 and oh. it's probably winning either way but let's try knight d6 yeah that's the most natural takes is there anything better here I don't really see anything much better maybe there's some checkmate oh of course yeah so now uh, my queen is still hanging, but so is his. But here the position changed slightly, so if I take on b4 here, and he takes, there's mate on b7, so that's much better than just winning the exchange. So, takes, and that's it. That's just... mate is threatening. So, throwing in knight to d6 was very helpful. Okay, um, next one. As you can see, I'm not trying to foresee everything in advance, I'm just trying to find the, the best first move and the best second move once I get there. So, I'm not trying to jump too far ahead. Oh, well, this one is simple. There's a battery set up here and there's a mate followed, so just queen g8. He has to take with the rook and then knight f7 is mate. That's a nice one. So here, uh, this king is really in the box, so I can play this first and then throw in the back rank mate with the rook to b8. It's kind of a standard idea, I guess. So queen g6, I'm sure. If he doesn't take, then I get his bishop, so he's forced to take. Pretty straightforward. Queen check, take. Yeah, well, he doesn't take, but then I just win the, win the piece. Well, that one is good. Let's see. Again, I've got a bunch of threats here, but he's got my queen under attack. Let's see. 
Got a couple of possibilities. Got different captures on d7. Well, three different captures on d7. Either one of them could could work. And I mean, I could maybe even throw in something like this here, just for whatever reason. But let's think about it. Um, yeah, there's also this check on c8, just so that then this is a check as well. I mean, it's all worth considering. I actually think this might be the best. The good thing about this is that this is all forced, right? Uh, so, I think it's rook to c8. I mean, capturing here might be also winning, but rook to c8, king takes, check. He's forced to take with the queen over the bishop, and then I got queen a8. And because this bishop here is covering, is covering all dark squares, it's gonna be made. So it has to be rook c8. Let's try. Yeah, so there's more than one good move here. Rook c8 is good. Takes, takes. Um, takes. Has to take. And now queen a8 with mate. Yeah. There was more than one good way. In such a case, you have to find something that works. Um, well, let's see here. This can come to a5. Doesn't give me much yet. Oops. He just goes to b8. So I can throw in different captures on d6 or on e5, I guess. Capturing on e5 with the bishop doesn't seem to do much, as far as I can tell. Capturing on uh, d6. No, he can take with anything he wants to. What else can be thrown in there? I mean, there are moves like bishop b5, bishop b7. Seems a bit too subtle. Uh, what else is forced here? I don't really see anything obvious. Nothing obvious, in fact. I just don't really see this one. The material is pretty even, so I mean, if I could win the pawn or something, that might be not too bad. But it feels like this king is too exposed and I should be looking for something else. I can't really solve this one quickly, so I think I'm gonna skip it. Uh, yeah, just not gonna solve this one now. Okay, so I would be able to give checkmate here had not my king been king been in check. So, well, I have to block. But say so if I go g3, well, maybe then he can cover up with um, queen back and somehow try go on this game. Knight e5 seems most natural. It brings up another piece to attack. Uh, F7, so it just has to be knight e5. So say he takes. Oh, well, it doesn't even show me what happens if he takes. But I think if he takes, I should be able to give some form of checkmate. Let's just continue with this. So he takes. I take. Say he goes here. Yeah, I guess this is just mate after this. Or winning the queen. So, 95 had to work. Can I quickly solve this one? Yeah, I think I should be able to. There's just all this build up on g8 against the king, so if I just throw in this rook into the game, that would distract this rook from guarding g8, so it has to be rook f7. I'm also threatening this, so and the rook is attacked, so he has to react. He takes and give checkmate. Good. I solved one, two, and five more positions. Seven positions. Hope I'll do better next time. That's it for today.